Hi boys and girls, welcome to Art with Mrs. Dickerson. I'm here with my daughter Meg today. It's an unusual occurrence, she's visiting. Uh, you've already seen me with Jack and you've seen me with Chris. So today, here I am with Meg. Today is the 4th of July and we're going to make a peace sign. All right, so I'm gonna make it in red, white, and blue because it's the 4th of July. And Meg's going to, she chose colors that she wants to do hers in. So she's going to do a different colored um, peace sign. All right, so first we're going to show you how to draw it. And then we're going to color it in. We're using markers and colored pencils today. We just mixed it up with whatever we have around the house. Okay, here we go. First we're going to draw the peace sign. And then we're going to color it in. So get, um, we're going to start with a black marker. But you can use whatever you have around the house. And this is what I want you to do. So put your paper in the vertical position like Meg and I have it. We're just using regular copy paper today. And the first thing I want you to do is draw a big circle like this. Okay, we don't want a tiny one. We want to make a big one because we're going to color it in later. All right. So it doesn't have to be perfect. Just do the best you can and make a circle like that. Good, good, okay, good. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make another circle on the inside. So we don't wanna make it too close together because this area we're gonna color in. So it's about, you know, my finger, half my finger is gonna be like about there. All right, so watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go like this, and I'm gonna leave like a nice big area that we can color in, so like that. See, mine's a little wobbly. That's okay. No problem. Okay. And then the next thing we're going to do to make a peace sign is we're going to make a line going down the middle. But we're going to make it about the same thickness as this circle. All right. So watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to put one line down like this. And then about the same. doesn't have to be exact. But about like that, I'm going to make another one. So we have a line going down the middle. Right? Great. Good job, Meg. So the next thing we have to do is we have to make two lines that go like this on the side to make it like a peace sign. Alright? So it's one line down the middle and then two smaller ones like that. Alright? So they're about halfway down and they go out. So same thing. We're going to go out and then we're going to make it about the same, just, you know, same width. So everything is about an, uh, about an inch, looks like to me. And then I'm going to go on the other side, about the same spot coming over. And oops, and mine's a little higher, but that's okay. It's, it's just, it's, fun. it's a fun drawing, okay? We're not trying to be exact. All right? So now we have our peace signs that are drawn, our basic peace sign. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to put designs on them and patterns on them, all right? And you can do any kind of design, any kind of pattern you want, but just keep in mind as you're doing it that later we're going to be coloring it in. So try to think of fun designs that you might enjoy coloring in later, all right? So I'm going to start up here and I'm going to put some polka dots because I love polka dots and Meg can do whatever she wants on hers. She can do some dots too. I'm gonna to do some dots. Yeah. You can put flowers on it. You can put, and then I'm gonna do, I think, um, I'm gonna do some stripes too. And I'm gonna do like squiggly stripes like this. You could do that too if you want. I'm gonna put a few stripes like that. And then maybe down here, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put some like little, I'm gonna make some little squares. And remember what we were talking about? If, if it's near the edge, it kind of bleeds off. We were talking about that before. Okay, so you can yeah. see I'm creating sort of a pattern like dots, wiggly lines, squares, wiggly lines. See, and look what Meg's doing. She's doing like different size dots. Mmm, I like that. I like that idea. It's really cool. Okay. Right? Okay, so now we've done our border. Now we're gonna do some kind of pattern on the inside, right? So I am just gonna do stripes going straight down. But Meg can do anything she wants, yeah? And you guys at home 
can do anything that you want as well. I'm gonna do something over here, watch. I'm gonna do zigzags. That's fun. So it's sort of like stripes, but in a zigzag pattern. All right, so now we're gonna color in. And remember, I said I'm gonna make mine um, red, white, and blue for the 4th of July. So these are all the colors that I chose. You know, I just pulled out all my markers and pencils that I have at home. So here we go, we're gonna color in. So I'm gonna choose this beautiful teal blue first, and I'm just gonna start. Just gonna pick a dot and start coloring it in. Yeah. And we're gonna mix markers and colored pencil. You could even mix crayons. If you, if you have crayons at home, you could use crayons and markers. It's fun. Fun to do that. It doesn't have to be all one thing, right? So here I'm making these stripes. I'm making them sort of red and white to have like a flag feel since mine is special for the 4th of July. So here I am and you know, I'm still using um, the red, white and blue color scheme for mine, but notice I'm using different shades of blue. Like this is like a teal and this is like a royal blue. So doing that and Meg's using, she's got orange, yellow and green cool color combination so i'm still working here and look what i did notice i turned my paper on an angle look at that it's a little bit easier to color that way you could do that at home too yeah i turn i rotated my paper a little bit so here we are we're just finishing up we're almost done just putting our last finishing touches on and as you can see, mine is red, white, and blue, and Meg's is just colors of the choice. She tried to pick different colors other than red, white, and blue. done with our coloring. They look so nice. Meg's is so cool, right? Yeah, a red, white, and blue version and a mixed color version in different designs, right? You can do any designs you want. Dots, stripes, squares, zigzags, anything. All right, so we're going to sign our names. Thank you for joining me today on the 4th of July.